Dear students, it is rightly said, the world is round and history repeats itself with lots of innovations and surprises. We all know that in the past, when there were no books, students used to learn by only hearing their teachers. Now, we are very glad to put before you this audio cassette, where from you will learn bookkeeping and accountancy very easily by listening to it at your convenient study hours. This audio cassette is part number one of the LYS series, that is, Learn Yourself series of bookkeeping and accountancy produced by JJ Audiovision for FYJC Commerce students as well as for bookkeepers, accountants, businessmen, shopkeepers, housewives and all those who are interested in this subject. This program called LYS series is specially designed for students of commerce faculty and is directly addressed to them in simple and lucid language by lecturer Jayesh Jani of Jani Classes, Mumbai. We are sure that the contents of this audio cassette will be of much help to you and wish you all the best of learning from this Learn Yourself series. Dear students, first of all we congratulate you for having selected the commerce faculty for your further studies. We hope that you must have enjoyed your studies up till now and we assure you that you will enjoy studying commerce from now onwards. We also welcome your decision of having this audio cassette with you for studying bookkeeping and accountancy. Dear students, as you all know, with the development of science and technology, the field of arts and architecture has also progressed, thereby creating a lot of scope for commerce students. Every business and commercial activity requires the services of an accountant along with all other kinds of services of technocrats for carrying on the said activity smoothly. A commerce student can become Bachelor of Commerce or Master of Commerce or he can even opt for diploma courses like Diploma in Tax Management and can become Tax Consultant or Practitioner. The scope for further studies is very very good for commerce students. You can decide to obtain professional degrees like CA or MBA or can become cost accountant or company secretary. Commerce student can even start his own business successfully. There is a lot of scope for commerce students in the finance and computer software programming field at a global level. Why there is so much scope for commerce students in each and every field of business and commercial activities? is a natural question. There are many reasons, but the most important among all is that every business and commercial organization is required to maintain their business records in the books of accounts as it is a statutory requirement. And every businessman has to pay direct or indirect taxes to the government like income tax, sell tax, excise duty, customs duty, octroi fees, toll tax, service tax and many kinds of surcharges and these are to be accounted properly. So now you can evaluate for yourself the immense scope for you as a student of commerce. We once again congratulate you and remind you that you are on the right track with lot of scope for your bright future. All the subjects have its own practical purposes but for understanding those subjects, they are divided into practical subjects and theoretical subjects. Other subjects like economics, secretarial practice, organization of commerce, etc. are considered to be theory subjects. Whereas, bookkeeping and accountancy is considered to be a practical subject. Now you will think, how is it possible to learn practical subjects like bookkeeping and accountancy by listening it on a pre-recorded audio cassette? Then the answer to this is 
that once you understand the theory part of this practical subject, you can practice it to achieve the desired results. Because practical part of bookkeeping and accountancy is based on certain rules of bookkeeping and on certain terms and conditions of accountancy. Dear friends, now let us hear about the history of bookkeeping and accountancy. Accountancy is the art of accounting and it has been prevailing since time immemorial. Probably from the period of primitive stage when man started counting his peoples and animals, his bows and arrows, etc. etc. Accountancy prevailed even before men became literate and developed the art and science of writing books of accounts for accounting purposes. In India, four varnas has been prevailing since more than last 5000 years. In the set caste system, the four varnas were Brahmins, Vaishyas, Satriyas and Sudras. Brahmins used to teach, preach and practice yogas medicines and also used to perform spiritual duties for the well-being and welfare of the society and for their livelihood. They were supported by all the other three Varnas. Vaishyas were traders, transporters and producers of various goods and commodities. And they were earning for their livelihood by providing various types of quality goods and services to the society, thus assuring overall well-being and welfare to one and all in the society. Satriyas used to look after the security, law and order and work for the well-being and welfare of the society in general. Sudras were in charge of maintaining hygienic surroundings and environment by cleaning the dirt from the roads, paths and compounds and washing clothes, saving animal skins for leather and moving dead bodies of birds and animals, thus looking after the well-being and welfare of the society by undertaking cleaning jobs. Now, you can see that Vaishyas were traders and businessmen, and they used to keep records of their all transactions and all the other ones used to trust them, and this went on for a fairly long period of time. But later on, due to distrust or for avoiding errors and omissions, or for counter-checking, almost everybody started recording their transactions. Though money was not yet invented, but people had devised their own method of keeping records. We often hear about Chitragupta when we hear old Indian scripture about gods and goddesses. Chitragupta maintains records about the good and evil deeds of human beings, and accordingly, he advises his boss Yamaraja, the king or god of death, to provide heaven or hell in exchange of good or evil deeds of every human being. So, from this, we can understand how old is our subject called bookkeeping and accountancy. In the past, its importance was limited up to its working knowledge only. But at present, its importance has increased tremendously. It is a statutory requirement too. Every day, businessmen enters into various business transactions with many different parties and customers. The nature of every such transactions is differently different from each other. It is not possible for businessmen to remember all those transactions and therefore it is necessary to have record of these transactions. Businessman has to keep proper record. Without proper record of business transactions, businessman cannot succeed in his business at all. Now, let us first enlist what we are going to study. First of all, we will try to understand and grasp the meaning of bookkeeping. Secondly, we will study and understand the objectives of bookkeeping. Thirdly, we will also try to know the importance of bookkeeping. Last but not least, we will also observe and learn the utility or usefulness of bookkeeping. In short, we will study the meaning, the objectives, 
the importance and the utility or usefulness of bookkeeping